This is University of Maryland. The elements outside the engineering building are nothing. Now the propeller's on. Compared to the elements created inside. Our top speed is actually 230 miles per hour. Welcome inside. Yeah, Glen L. Martin wind tunnel. More than 60 years old, this wind tunnel has helped scientists test countless products. We've tested sports equipment such as bobsleds, umbrellas, trash cans. And today, television news reporters. No amount of hair gel can save us now. Higher and harder, winds turn through the tunnel. That is upstream, that's downstream. Face muscles, apparently, Woo! are nothing in 107 miles per hour. The kinds of wind speeds that you get from these tunnels are actually similar to the kinds of wind speeds that you get in natural events like uh, hurricanes and tornadoes. By the end, my tie was the only tunnel casualty. I see that. It looks about right. I'm Sunday's best. I think I'm good to go. For researchers, though, this is serious work. Scientists see storms like Sandy as proof there's much more to learn. There's a lot about the development of these storms that we actually still don't understand. From the tunnel's turbines to the shorelines. Air behavior continues to surprise in some in subtle ways. Wind science continues to evolve in College Park. Paul Gessler, Fox 45 News at 10.